Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme. In the previous video, we learned about how to fetch the header from WordPress. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to display that onto the front end. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is, so if you remember from the previous video, uh, if you go to the index.js pages, index.js, we have included our header, header and footer. So this is where the header information is available. And then if you go to the front end, uh, you'll notice that you have got the header available on top. And then we've got the data for the header, which is the site logo, URL, favicon, all of that stuff. So what we need to do is we need to pass this information that is available to our home component to our header. Okay, so the best thing we do is we basically pass the data. So we can pull the data. And if I put data over here, what do we get? Let's, there you go. So you got the data. So I think we're already getting data over here. So best thing to do would be to move this like so. I think this will be better and then put a comma over here. And now if you refresh, there you go. We've got the header and the footer, which is great. So what we need to do is we'll come over here and we'll say const, and then I'm gonna pull the header from this, and then the footer equals data, okay? And uh, let's pass the header to the header, and footer to the footer. Now let's go inside of the header. And while we do that, I think there's just one thing we need to fix. So what we need to do next is just move the header and the footer into layouts. So let's do that. Header and then footer. Okay. And then what we should also do is if we go to our source components is just update the path to that. So components and at both places is going to be layouts. Layouts. Yep. Perfect. Okay, next thing we do is we go inside of the header and we should have header available over here. So header, and if you console log header, or console one for that matter, header, and I'm just going to check now. There you go, we've got the header available, which is great. And I'm gonna close the pages index for now, close all of the other files. Okay, the next thing we do is, we basically need the header, header menu items. So I'm gonna say const header menu items equals header and then or empty object, just in case if it doesn't find header here, then we shouldn't get any error. That's why I'm checking or empty object. And now apart from the header menu items, which is this, we also have site description. Let's pull that up. We have site logo URL, site title, oops, site title, and then also favicon. Okay, all right, so we have that. And then the first thing we do is we update the title because currently, as you can see, the title is static. We need to make this dynamic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say site title. If it's available, great. If it's not, then we can just put that manually saying that JS WooCommerce app. website or just next year's WooCommerce, that should be fine. So now, uh, if you notice on top in the site title, we have this React WooCommerce theme available. So if you check the head one, uh, you can see that this is coming from WordPress. So let me show that to you. So if you go back to WordPress, appearance, customize, and we check the site entity, you can see it says React WooCommerce theme. If I update this, for example, I put that that way, go back over here, refresh, you can see that now it says React theme, right? So it has changed, which is 
pretty powerful if you ask me because you have the front end application which is you have the front end application which is able to fetch the data from wordpress which is which is perfect you can update that next thing we do is um we put the favicon url so as you can see that this is the favicon.io for the moment but we need to uh, use our favicon so all i'm going to do is come over here and then same thing i'm going to say favicon or this so now you can see that the favicon has changed and it's coming from wordpress right uh, so if you check the element you can see that the url that you're seeing for favicon is actually coming from wordpress which is again pretty pretty powerful right okay next up so now we need to update the site logo url so now if you check currently it's using the svg to show the site logo however we can again update that so let's do that so i'm going to say that if site logo url is available site logo url is available then use an image tag and then inside of this i can use the site logo url else otherwise just use the svg right so if site logo url is available use that otherwise use the default svg so now over here we're going to put the alt tag as well so what do we want to use for alt tag let's see we probably can use uh, maybe site title over here or you can just use whatever you want you want to put site logo or maybe just put it like this site title and then logo that's it all right uh we need to give this a closing tag so let's do that okay now width and height needs to reduce and then put margin as well so because we have tailwind at our disposal i don't really have to go to my css file i can just say margin right maybe two let's try that yeah much better okay so according to your needs and requirements you can go ahead and customize this width height and stuff like that and i think we should give it a height as well so height 32 and then if that is not available if the site logo is not available is we're just going to use the svg then the next thing we do is we either site title okay or you can say woo next all right so there you go we have react theme and then if you want to put the tagline you can do that so just beneath this if you want to put the tagline you can do it say if site description is available then a p tag and site description else null see yep that there we go so we have the site tagline available as well i think we can make the width and the height a little bit bigger so let's go with yeah so i've gone with 86 by 86 but again you can choose the width and height that you want we can use the font semi bold and all of that stuff over here like so all right remove this so again uh, i'm not going to spend too much time in styling but uh, you can do the styling yourself using tailwind which is fine mm -hmm.